Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a huge Sephora haul. I'm going to show you what I got at the holiday bonus event. I actually went in store. I wanted to see some things in person, swatch them, touch them, and kind of figure out what shades were going to work for me. So I'm excited to share with you what I picked up. And I'm even more excited to tell you that your girl is partnering with Sephora for this video, which has been a goal of mine for so many years. I've literally been doing Sephora hauls for years on my channel. I feel like my channel is really based around Sephora. So when I got this opportunity I literally was like yes like this was just one of my goals and I just feel just so lucky to work with them so thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video just so happy that they recognize me and I love them so much you know I'm a Sephora girl at heart so every year Sephora lets their beauty insiders get exclusive access to shop their holiday bonus event and get discounts depending on which tier they are so there's three tiers I am a VIB Rouge there's a VIB and then there's a beauty insider they're all different depending on how much money you spend every year but they all have perks that you want to have and it's free to sign up to be a beauty insider and then you get all the perks that come with it like promotional codes obviously access to the holiday bonus event, samples, and makeovers when you go in store. So there's a lot of perks and it's free to sign up. So for this holiday bonus event, Rouge gets 20% off. They got early access to shop November 1st to November 6th and they can shop all the way through the 11th. I am a Rouge, which is why I already placed my order. If you are a VIB, you get 15% off and you can shop from November 7th to November 11th. And if you are a Beauty Insider, you get 10% off and you shop again from November 7th to November 11th. I'll have everything down below just so you know in case you're wondering everybody uses the code holiday save you can use it multiple times in store and online so I'll have a link down below to sign up if you are not already a beauty insider as I said it is free and it gives you access to shop the holiday bonus event get your discount and make an order and get those savings so I'll have everything linked down below that I talk about today thank you so much to Sephora for working with me I'm just beyond excited you know I'm a Sephora girl and let's go ahead and get into what I picked up during this event so as I said I did decide to go in store there was some stuff that I was eyeing and I really wanted to see swatches and just kind of decide which shade would be best for me so I'm gonna start off with eyeshadow palettes I went ahead and picked up this Huda Beauty medium nude obsessions palettes I love her mini palettes and I thought this packaging was so so gorgeous I really thought the light one was beautiful as well it had almost like a pinky purple kind of pastel tone to it but I thought this one would be the one that I would use the most I am wearing it on my eyes today it's just a beautiful, I would say like, a, I don't know, like a romantic nude pinky shift. So if you're expecting completely nude, there is a pink purple kind of vibe to this. But I used this shade on my lid, which is a gorgeous pink, almost gold reflect. These mattes blended beautifully. I really didn't expect anything less, honestly, because I really love Huda Shadows. They're one of my favorite brands. So I thought that the presentation on this was beautiful. The price is great. On top of getting the offer, if you are a beauty insider, I just thought it was a really beautiful palette. Honestly, I, I liked all three. So I feel like whichever one speaks to you, go ahead and go for it. I think the quality is beautiful on these. And I just think the presentation is great. I love these little minis. I think, you know, nine shades is enough to really kind of do you know different looks but it's not overwhelming you know 20 30 shades so this one really spoke to me so next up I had to go in and get the big dog you guys have been asking me I thought I was going to receive it and I didn't uh, same with the mini obsession so I just went ahead and purchased it so this is the Huda Beauty Mercury why can I not say that Merc Mercury retrograde palette I have to say the presentation on this is stunning and I really was excited when I saw it in store I really was like wowed so I knew I had to just go ahead and pick it up I want to do you know tutorials with it look at this packaging I have to say it's just beautiful I love the Huda aesthetic I just love it's a little bit different but still wearable and it's just so unique this packaging I thought the colors in here were stunning. I have not even swatched them yet. You do get a large mirror. So this is what it looks like. It's like a pastel, I would say like a pastel soft kind of palette. It's neutral, but there's definitely like some blues and some like mauve pinks in here. And it looks like there's different textures when I'm looking at it. It looks like there's kind of some like chunky metallics and then maybe some toppers. So I'm interested to kind of get in here and swatch. This was a little bit more pricey than I think her other palettes. I'm not sure if the formula is a little bit different, but obviously if you get your, you know, 15, 20% off, 10% off, I think that it's a great time to pick it up. So here are some of the... Ooh, some of the metallics and the shimmery shades. 
These are gorgeous. I just think this palette really spoke to me with all the overloads of palettes. This one stood out to me. So definitely going to be using this in a video to come. I just can't wait to get my hands in here and play. Moving on to blush. I really have been raving about this formula and I wanted to get this shade when I saw it in store. This is from Bare Minerals. This is the Bounce and Blur blush and this is in Blurred Buff. So I have the pink one called Pink Sky, which is like a really beautiful baby pink. This is totally different. This is like a muted, almost bronzy shade. And the formula on this almost feels like a super shock. It's almost like a bouncy cream. This is almost, reminds me of the Buxom Seychelles bronze. I think that everybody was loving. I love as well. This is like a warm, I don't know, terracotta bronze. And it has a little bit of a satin finish. So I was really excited to get this. I had been eyeing it. And I really typically wear more of like a baby doll cheek, but I do like some muted colors as well. So I had to pick this up. Once I saw it in store, I was really kind of drawn to it. So recently Patrick Ta did release a new collection and I had to get my hands on some of the products. I did end up picking up two blushes from the collection. So the packaging is like this beautiful rose gold reflection and then it comes in this beautiful box. So I am wearing the shade right now, She's Passionate. It's a really beautiful, I would say like a pink with a little bit of a peachy undertone. I will say these are extremely sheer. Uh, this one is a little bit more um, intense, I guess, than the other one I have, but they do remind me of the Buxom in the way that they have a little bit of a sheen to them. It's not glitter or anything like that. They're very soft. These are very soft. They're definitely just a powder, but they're very creamy, but they're quite sheer. If you feel like blush kind of makes you look too overdone, you feel like you can kind of get into that clown territory too easily, I think you would really like these. They definitely need building, so just keep that in mind. If you're a beginner, I think these might be really nice for you. The second shade that I got was She's Seductive, which is like almost like a brownie mauve. This one is more sheer in my opinion. Now it could be just that the pink pops a little bit more, but this is so beautiful. I watched a video of Patrick Ta applying this uh, on YouTube and it just looked stunning. I think he just really, you can tell he loves makeup. He loves his craft. He takes it very seriously and he really believes in his products. I've had really good luck with his products and I think the packaging and presentation is very alluring. So I wanted to pick these up. I would say that I do prefer uh, She's Passionate just because I like more of a pinky look, but I think they're both beautiful. Just know that you have to build them up. Another brand that's fairly new, it's actually a clean beauty brand that I have kind of been intrigued by is Lawless Beauty. I went ahead and picked up this bronzer in Golden Hour. I was in between this and the deeper one, uh, but I thought this would work and I've seen quite a bit of people use this that were around my skin tone. I think the packaging is beautiful and it's kind of like a satin bronzer. It's not too warm and it's not, you know, cool toned either. It's kind of in the middle, which I think is nice. I do think this is very buildable. So I feel like, again, if you are new to makeup, you might like this because you kind of have to build it up. It could be just because the shade isn't, you know, super dark on me. So I do have to build this up, but nonetheless, it does give me a nice bronze without looking overdone. And like I said, it does have that little sheen to it. It does feel really soft and it almost has a little bit of like a powder kick up, uh, but again, it blends out beautifully. I didn't notice any grabbing or anything like that. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. Lawless is kind of impressing me. I have a couple more products in here to show you that I got from them. I just like the aesthetic and I think the more they release, the more intrigued I am. So moving on to a brush set that I picked up, I've been really enjoying Sephora collection brushes. I think they have really cute sets. I think it's a good price point. And I was in store and I saw this. This is the Shimmer and Shine brush set. So it comes in a cute little case like this. You can clasp if you'd like to. And it has eight brushes in here, which I thought was a pretty nice rounded out brush set, especially for beginners. Uh, so I just feel like the packaging is super cute. It has like this clear kind of, it looks like a snowflake, you know, shimmer and shine kind of thing. So you do get a foundation brush in here, which is really dense. Nice if you like a full coverage. And then there's a bronzer brush, which I thought was really nice. I used it today as well as this blush brush. Again, I use this and then there's a fan highlight brush in here. 
The standout for me was the blending brush. I use this on my eye, pretty much my whole eye look, and then I use this kind of flat brush to put the shimmer on, but I think these are really nice. Uh, there's an eyebrow brush and then a concealer brush as well. I just think this is a cute little kind of set for beginners especially, and I feel like for travel, this is not bulky, so I thought this was really cute. I've been drawn again to Sephora Collection a lot recently. I just think the price is so nice, and I think that they have some really good quality stuff. You guys know I've talked about like their blushes and their Sephora face palette and all of that. So I thought this was really cute and I wanted to grab it and kind of try these out. I know a lot of people tend to ask for recommendations on uh, brush sets because they just don't want to have to try to find, you know, a bunch of different things. And I think this is a really cute functional brush set. So I did pick up two of the Patrick Ta lip liners. These are the Precision Lip Crayons Monochrome Moment. So this is the box packaging and then this is what the actual uh, component looks like. So I do have She's Strong on. Now this is a really interesting packaging and there's some pros and cons to it. So I do think if you like to fill in your lip line, this is very, very beneficial because it does have a different shape than a typical lip liner. So it's really easy to fill in the sides if you like to do that contoured look. If you want a sharp edge, you do have to, you know, kind of turn it over and use the side. It's a little bit more difficult to get a precise line. I will say that these last a long time. I would say comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury, which lasts a long time. I wore this yesterday for the first time. I applied it, I want to say, 2 o'clock, and I had it on until 1 in the morning because I was up late, and it was faded a little bit by one, but I would say a good eight hours and it was on there and I had eaten and everything. So I do like this shade here. This is the, I think this is the third deepest shade, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's called She's Strong and this is what it looks like. It's a, just a beautiful, you know, neutral kind of brown shade. Now I will say that packaging, you do click this up and you cannot roll it down. So again, there's some pros and cons to the packaging. You just have to know what you're getting into. Feels creamy when you apply it. I didn't have any issues, but just make sure you're not clicking it up uh, really high because you can't roll it back down. I did get She's Bold. This one is the deepest one. When I was in store, I thought that the other ones just looked a little bit too light for me and I really enjoy kind of that uh, contoured lip look. So I haven't swatched this one yet, but this is the deepest one. So she's strong. It's a little bit deeper and it looks more cool toned. This one looks a little bit more brown, whereas this one is a little bit more cool toned. So we'll have to try them out. I think I will use these more so to kind of fill in the corners uh, because I like more of a precise Cupid's bow and all of that. Uh, so I think this might be a little bit difficult. Again, you have to kind of flip it over, but I do think for filling in and having a long wear lip liner, I think this is a good concept. You just have to kind of know how to use the packaging. But when I try to wipe this off, it's going to be stained. I, I tried the other day and I was really shocked. These do not budge. Also from the new Patrick Ta collection, I did pick up two of these lip products. These are the Silky Lip Creams. So essentially they're a really pigmented satin lipstick. That's kind of the way that I see them. Maybe glossy satin. So I got the lightest one, which is She's Unapologetic. I used this today. Again, I applied it. It was quite light. I just used my finger to blend it in. If you are really uh, tan, deep complected, this would probably be too light for you. I would say it's a kind of neutral pink, very, very light. Uh, but again, it's kind of the center of the lip product. I love the formula on these. They last pretty well. They don't gunk up. They have a nice light scent to them and they're just pigmented. I think they're really nice. If you can't get on with uh, like a liquid lipstick, you just find them too drying, you might really enjoy this. I did also get She's Independent. Uh, I couldn't decide, honestly, I wanted all four, but I was like, girl, just choose two because you don't even know yet. So this one is definitely deeper. I'm interested to try this on the lips as well. But this looks like a, just kind of like a, I would say, a um, mauve nude brown. So there's four different shades and there is one deeper than this and I think there's a peachy pink one that I was kind of eyeing as well. But I think this is a beautiful product for those people that want a nice, um, you know, pigmented lipstick, but they don't want something drying. And I do think these hang around for a while. They don't just like wipe off or smear all over. So I do like the formula. I think these are going to be a favorite for me. So if you watched my recommendations for this bonus event, I did recommend the Slim Matte Lipstick from YSL. I went ahead and picked up another shade. I have the shade 24, which is a beautiful light pink. And I did pick up the shade 11, which is ambiguous beige. 
Uh, this looks really beautiful and I love this formula. Yeah, this looks really pretty. Really pigmented. It's almost like a cream to powder but not drying. Doesn't gunk up. Just looks really beautiful. I love the 24 shade and I thought this would be a little bit of a different kind of shade. It's a little bit more pink or rosy than I would have anticipated but nonetheless, I just really like this formula so I wanted to grab another one um, just so I have multiple in my collection. Also for the fall holiday themed makeup vibes that we've been seeing, I did pick up two kind of deep fall colors. I went ahead and picked up this ultra matte lipstick from Melt. I love Melt. Their lipsticks are a little bit dry, but I kind of like that with a really pigmented deep color so they don't smear around. Now this is a really deep purple shade, so it's called Dark Room. And it's really pigmented. This formula is uh, pretty similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I just thought this was a beautiful vampy color. I tend to go for like these plum purple shades. And I thought it was really beautiful. So I wanted to grab it to have more options for fall makeup looks. So from Fenty Beauty, I thought this was so cute. This is called the Little Lil Stunna Mini Longwear Fluid Lip Color. And this is in the shade Underdog. So I love this formula. And again, I just thought this was so cute, especially for like... Like fall, winter, just deep, vampy shades. It kind of looks like a little ornament. Well, I guess it is. If you've never tried this formula, it's very thin but insanely pigmented. This is, I would say, like a cranberry chocolate hybrid. So it definitely has that cranberry undertone, but there's definitely brown in there. Again, I just thought it would be super beautiful for holiday fall looks. And I do actually like that it's in a little mini size because you know, I don't go through my liquid lipsticks, especially vampy colors like that. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. I think it's really, really cute. So moving on to lip glosses, I may have went a little bit crazy, but I'm a gloss girl. What can I say? I had to pick this up. This is the new Plush Pout Lip Gloss from Artist Couture, and I got the shade Uncensored. I like Artist Couture. There's been some products that were a little bit not my favorite, but overall I like the glowy vibe, and I love just like Angel's vibe. He likes really like glossy lips. So this looks like a really neutral kind of brown nude. And I heard that people said these weren't sticky. They feel a little bit thick to me, but I actually like that. And I like the pigment on this. So I think there was three different shades. And of course I went for the neutral one, but I thought this was just like a really beautiful, shiny nude gloss that could go over anything. And I knew I wanted to grab it when I saw it was released. So if you saw my recommendations video, I did recommend the Lawless Lip Shines. These are really, really pretty glosses. I recommended Babe, and I went ahead and got two more shades. So I picked up Annie. This is, I would say, like a, it's still, I guess, pink. Pink with a little bit of a peachy vibe. I love the pigment on these, and these are really nice. They smell really nice, and they're a little bit, I wouldn't say they're like thin, but they're not like MAC lip glass. They're kind of in the middle, so they hang on, and they're just really shiny. So this one is more of like that pinky peach, whereas the other one that I picked up, I believe is called Georgia. Yeah, Georgia, and this one is more of your kind of light peach nude. There's not really much pink in there. This one looks a little bit more sheer, but I just think these are gorgeous. This is a clean beauty brand as well, so if you're into that, I think you'd like these, but these actually released, and before I could grab them, they went out of stock, and then they restocked them, so this is a perfect time to pick them up if you wanna get you know, a little discount on top. So of course, you know, I had to pick up the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse uh, Mini <laughs> Gloss Bomb Collection. When I saw this sneak peeked, I had to grab it. So this comes in a little tin like this. It's really cute, and there's five shades in here. There are mini gloss bombs. They're all new except for one, which is Fussy. Uh, I already do have Fussy, but you just have like an array. They're quite sheer. I mean, there's definitely a little tint to them, but they're not, you know, crazy intense. So I feel like, you know, these are all gonna be wearable, even though it looks like, you know, there's like a chocolate brown and a hot pink and this red, I actually put this pink on my lips today and it's quite sheer once you blend it out, but this formula is gorgeous. It just smells incredible, feels incredible. I, I just, I don't know anybody that doesn't love the formula on these. So I was excited to see some more shades come out. I think this is such a cute, just holiday gift idea or just, you know, buy it for yourself, keep a couple, throw them in your bag. So definitely recommend this. This is like a top selling product. So in terms of skincare, if you saw my recommendations, I was raving about the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I went ahead and picked up the big one. This is a 20th anniversary limited edition. This 
is so good you guys I just really have fallen in love with it I kind of want to get another one actually so I can have one in my master and then one in my shower upstairs but I just think this is a beautiful cleanser it's helped with congestion that I had on my jawline it's just nice and refreshing it gets all of your makeup off but it doesn't leave you dry and tight and stripped highly recommend so I did go ahead and pick this up because now I'm just in love with this product and to finish off I did pick up a couple hair products so as I said I picked up two of the number three Olaplex this is the hair perfecter so you apply this to damp hair and you leave it on it says you can leave it on for 10 minutes I leave it on for you know an hour maybe two just on days that I know I'm gonna wash my hair which is like two or three times a week and I just feel like this really helps with frizz, it helps with breakage, it helps with thinning hair. To me, I feel like this just really changes the hair game if you use it the right way. They say to use it two to three times a week. I probably use it twice a week. I just highly recommend this. I think Olaplex as a brand is just phenomenal. I really haven't tried a product I didn't like from them, but this is a standout for me, so I had to restock on these. And then last but not least, if you watch my recommendations, I raved about this product, and I said I was gonna pick up another one. This is the Amika Bust Your Brass. This is the Cool Blonde Shampoo, and this is my new favorite. It doesn't make my hair purple, whereas in the past, I feel like some do nothing, and then some actually grab purple. This one has a beautiful lather to it, it smells nice, and it just does the right amount of brightening. It gives me that icy look without the purple tones, which is why I like it, because there for a while I felt like it was just purple shampoo was grabbing to certain areas, and I would just have like lilac streaks, whereas this is just an all-over tone. So I went through an entire bottle, repurchased it. I know they also have a set too. I have their conditioner, I enjoy it as well, but if you're in between, I would go for just the shampoo because I think it's really kind of like the workhorse. All right guys, that is everything I picked up from the Sephora Holiday Beauty Insider event. Of course, you wanna sign up to be a Beauty Insider. It is free, I will have a link down below, and you can get perks like free makeovers, discounts, samples, tons of stuff like that, and also access to shop these events to get a discount on your order. So all of the information will be down below, but if you were eyeing anything, especially super pricey things, you definitely want to shop right now during this event to get a discount on those hefty price tag items that you want. So I'll have everything linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Sephora for working with me on this, and I'll see you guys in my next video.